Ruby and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some clothes that I bought from eBay. Now, the reason I decided to shop on eBay is because I saw some clothing on a few other websites and in some shops that I was at the other day, but I just wasn't prepared to pay the price for them. So, as you know, on this channel, we ball on a budget. So, I went on eBay, done a picture search, the items came up, I've purchased them, they've arrived, and I'm ready to show you what they look like and if they're worth the money. Okay, so the first item I want to show you is this jumper. Do you know what? I, I was just searching for other clothing on eBay and I saw this, it came up. So I thought, Do you know, it's really nice, so I'm going to buy it. So this is what it looks like. It's actually really nice. It feels good too, actually. The material is really good on this. I can't even lie. I can't fault it at all. So let me try this on for you guys. I bought this, I think this jumper was actually like near on £10, to be fair. Well, at first I was thinking, no, I'm not paying that price for a jumper, but it is quite nice and it's unusual. So, let me just... This one is actually really nice. I've got a pair of trousers to go with this as well that I bought on eBay that I'd seen on another website. I actually like this jumper. I actually like this a lot. Usually I'm not a fan of one-sided things and my shoulders are actually quite broad. But this is a nice jumper. This is kind of different. I like this. Okay, so let me try on the trousers with it. They're actually quite thin, very thin actually, like, good thing I've got shorts on underneath, I'll probably have to wear like tights or something underneath these, they are really, really thin, not really a winter pants, they are tight, uh uh, and I bought these big because <laughs> All right, so you know on eBay, usually a lot of stuff come from China. So I purposely looked at the sizing chart and bought them big. Like these are, I think, a th what, supposed to be a 3XL. I don't know on what planet, but okay. Anyway, this is them up. Hold on. <laughs> I don't understand why I have bad luck with trousers. There's no button. There is no button. Okay. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. Look at Moving on to another pair of cargo pants that I bought from the same seller. Um, I don't even know if it's worth on trying these on, but I will do anyway. Do you know what? These trousers cost me 14 49 each. And sometimes this is why it isn't good to buy cheap, because... Yeah. Well, actually... Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. These are a smoother fit. Hold on now. Hold on now. We could be getting somewhere. All right, no, these feel smoother to get on. That was a little bit easier. Let's see if they can do what. Okay. 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 Hold on now. 12 seconds later. Okay, all right, okay. It was getting a bit caught. Okay, so this is the trousers. The second pair of cargo pants I wore. I mean, again, they are thin. They feel very tight. They are 3XL, same size. This is either the post pregnancy weight or their clothes are just really made too small. And to be quite fair, for 3XL, this shouldn't be fitting like this. But whatever. This is them. I 
feel like I'm busting out of them, so let's just take them off. Moving on. Okay, so the next item I bought is a puffer jacket. As we all know, white puffer jackets is in this season. And so I thought to myself, I ain't going out like that now. I saw so many other white puffer jackets on other websites and they were charging $38.99, 40 dollars like some ridiculous prices. So this jacket here cost me $17.99 with one pound shipping fee, so $18.99 in total. It's actually really nice, it's ice white. Okay. Disney fonts. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but you know what? It is what it is. It's quirky. Side says, there is always sunshine in my heart. Then it has like a placard or something. I don't know. I don't care. It's white. It's nice. It looks like it's going to fit good as well. Oh my gosh. Yes. Result. <laughs> Result. Okay. No, okay. Okay, white. Come on through. Come. Let me tell you something. $18.99. Nah. I don't care what it says on it. This can work. Hood fits well. Nah, I'm sorry. After them trousers, this this just brought it all back. This brought it all back. This might seem random to you, but I bought this baseball cap because I've never had one. I have never had a baseball cap, but obviously they've been in for a while and I really, really like them. So I went out for, all right, I'm going to buy one. But when I saw them in the shops, they were charging like upwards of £10 for a baseball cap, which I'm not paying again. So this one here was, I think, $4.95 on eBay. I actually like it. I don't usually wear hats because I don't really think that they suit me, but I actually like this one. This hat is quite cute. It's nice. I'm actually impressed. I'm actually feeling myself in this hat. <laughs> With the hairstyle and the earrings, no, I'm actually feeling myself. The last thing I'm going to show you guys was these boots. I, do you know what? It's a fact. It's a guarantee you've seen these boots around because these boots are in hard body. Like, they're on literally every single website. Every website that I've been on has these boots. However, I was not paying the price of every website. So, I've got these boots on eBay. These were £24.88p. That's how much I got these boots for. I think that's an alright price. I am a sucker for a chunky sole. I love a thick sole. I have thick sole Converse's, I have thick sole Adidas, um, I have thick sole Nikes. I am a sucker for a thick sole. So regardless of whether these are in and trendy or not, if I had seen these, I was always gonna get them. Let me try these on. these i'm really feeling these the jacket and these boots brought it back i don't know if you can see these i'm going to turn my camera off. i love them i'm actually in love with these boots these boots the coat the hat and the jumper fit phenomenally the trousers as you saw for yourself is a no-no i don't even think i'm going to be buying trousers anymore i I honestly just don't think trousers are for me in this climate. I don't think so. But the boots, they get a definite thumbs up from me. So guys, out of everything that I bought from eBay, if I had to put together an outfit, this would be it. And to be fair, 
I am not mad at this at all. Like, I have a whole outfit on right now that fits pretty well, feels of okay quality. Do you know what? This, this outfit is definitely cheaper from eBay than it would have been in any of the online stores or even the high street stores. So to be quite fair, I'm kind of feeling this little ensemble. I, I am not in my feelings about this. This, this works for me. What do you guys think? So guys, that's it for today's episode of I Spent. Would I spend on eBay again? Possibly, as you just saw, it's quite hit and miss. A matter of just guessing games, to be quite honest. I'll probably get another jacket from there, probably also another pair of shoes from there, but that's about it. Is it cheaper than high street stores and online stores? Most definitely, but was the quality really worth it? Probably not. So it's up to you, it's at your discretion, but I just wanted to give you a little insight into what it's like from purchasing off eBay. Thank you for tuning in. As always, like, share, subscribe, Turn on the notification bell to get updated on when I post new content and I'll see you in the next video.